wiping out is completed, you raise the prices. Or that you control, let's say, a transmission line or a pipeline for gas coming from Andhra Pradesh to, to North India. And you have spare capacity, but you will not allow your competitor to use that pipe in order to compete with you. Denying that access can be a violation, uh, can be an abuse of dominance. So these are the two sets of provisions, prohibitions within the Act. And the third pro provision is relating to mergers. The Competition Act has no problem with mergers. Mergers are a very normal uh, activity within the economy. A stronger player acquires a weaker player and thereby tries to become stronger still. There is no problem. But if a particular merger could lead to a monopoly kind of situation, what is called a dominant position, a, a hugely uh, disproportionate share of the market, and ultimately this is not going to be good for the economy, then the Competition Commission can say, look, this particular merger I will not allow. Otherwise, the Competition Commission cannot stop your mergers. So these are the three areas of provisions within the Competition Act. And to discharge its uh, enforcement responsibility, the Competition Commission has been given enormous powers. Uh, you can, if you feel that two companies or more companies are forming a cartel, you as a consumer, you can go and complain, or the competitor who may be hurt is allowed to complain, or even the government is allowed to make a complaint to the Competition Commission, or the Commission can do it on its own knowledge, on its own motion. And the Commission has got the power then to carry out a thorough investigation, and for the purposes of that investigation, it has been given the powers of a court, so it can summon witnesses, it can ask you to produce documents, it can send a, commission, a commissioner to on the spot go and check up things, and in the final analysis, it can also undertake a raid, what is generally called a dawn raid. And surprisingly, uh, surprising, it can surprise you through a surprise check, arrive at your door one fine morning and uh, go through all the records. And you are bound to produce all these records, all the information that the Commission has asked for. And if you don't do it, the Commission can lay further penalties. The Commission is allowed to punish any violation of the Act with very huge penalties. Virtually 10% uh, of your turnover, and in the case of a cartel, 10% of your turnover for, for each year of the violation. Or three times a profit for each year of the violation. So you must have heard the huge penalties levied on Intel, levied earlier on Microsoft, on the glass cartel in, in, uh, in, uh, in Europe, and so on and so forth. So the powers of the Competition Commission are, cannot be compared with those of the MRTPC. It has got enough um, powers under the Act uh, and if, uh, to impose penalties also. Now, the consequences of any violation of the Competition Act for an enterprise can be very, very serious. Huge penalties, loss of reputation, etc., etc. I'm running out of time. So they can be very serious. Uh, uh, loss of customers, and so on and so forth. And therefore, it is in the self-interest of every enterprise to make sure that they don't uh, violate the Act. Apart from that, it is good corporate governance to comply with all laws and including the competition law. Normally, we understand corporate governance as principles-based behavior within the internal uh, environment of the company. Competition law is principles-based behavior in the external environment of the company, that is in the market. Are you fooling or are you looting uh, consumers? Are you uh, preventing genuine uh, smaller competitors to compete with you? So principles-based behavior in the external environment of the market. And therefore, this is part of good corporate governance. And it is also part of self-enlightened behavior to stay in compliance. And you will see that all major enterprises, all, all major enterprises make sure that they have a, uh, a, a proper formal compliance program 
so as to stay in compliance with the competition law. It is part of their corporate governance policy to have a compliance program. And ultimately, it is for their own benefit. It is for the benefit of consumers. It is for the benefit of our markets and our economy and for society at large, including consumers. Thank you.